Kids Play One. What's well, good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play One, and this is Mega Man Move List for Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Mega Man moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, just to let you guys know, this is a subscriber requested video. With that being said, let's get started. Okay, starting off this list is the Mega Buster. This move is where Mega Man can fire a shot from his arm cannon. To do the move, press the first punch button. This attack can be fired in mid-air as well. You can also charge a Mega Buster by holding the Fierce Punch button. While charging, keep in mind for every second that pass will add a hit to the Mega Buster's shot. For an example, after one minute, a charged Mega Buster will hit at least 40 times. And after two minutes, a charged Mega Buster will hit the opposition 50 times. Up next is a Mega Uppercut. To do this move, do a Dragon Punch motion and press any punch button. It looks like this. The Mega Uppercut is Mega Man Anti-Air. And while you can catch unexpected enemies who love to jump, it's safer to use Mega Man's launcher. I find that the Mega Uppercut is best used at the end of combos and it's safer to use that way. Also, you can perform the Mega Uppercut in midair. So it's a cool, I mean, it's a, it's a cool attack, but you know, it's, it's unsafe if you miss, because like when Mega Man falls to the ground, he, he has no way to protect himself. So that's why I said um, to, do the, to do the move in, at the end of combos, or just rely on your launcher for, for anti-air. The next move on the list is called the Tornado Hold. The Tornado Hold is one of the three sub-weapons that Mega Man can acquire during battle. To equip the Tornado Hold, do a Dragon Punch motion and any kick button. This will summon Eddie, which will give you access to the move. To use the sub-weapon, you must do the Use Item command. The Tornado Hold works great, especially in combos. Down and fierce kick into a light punch tornado hold is an excellent combo. That looks like this. Also, the tornado hold is a sub weapon that Mega Man always starts at the beginning of a fight. The second sub weapon is called the Mega Ball. The Mega Ball is one of the three sub weapons that Mega Man can acquire during battle. To equip the Mega Ball, do a quarter circle motion with any kick button. This will summon Eddie, which will give you access to the move. To use the sub weapon, you must do the Use Item command. Once you initialize the move, press the kick button to kick the Mega Ball at your opponent. kick it. Use the Mega Ball to apply pressure and to distract the enemy, but I wouldn't rely too much on it to cause major damage. And finally, the last sub weapon I would like to cover is called the Leaf Shield. To equip the Leaf Shield, do a reverse quarter circle motion and press any kick button. To use the sub weapon, you must do the use item command. To shoot the leaf shield, use the item command once more. In my opinion, the leaf shield is a great sub weapon that can absorb one hit, but it doesn't prevent any throws. 
Also, you can find the leaf shield in midair. Yeah, the leaf shield is pretty cool, and it's a great way, it's an effective way to uh, start a combo. Okay, so this is the command to do when you want to use any of the three Mega Man sub weapons. To use your sub weapon, do a quarter circle motion and press any punch button. So as you guys remember that the leaf shield was the last weapon that sub weapon that I got from Eddie. So all, so all I'm doing now is inputting the use item command, which is a quarter circle forward any punch button. So let's say that I, I would like to do the tornado hold, then I have to summon Eddie once again. I gotta do a dragon punch motion and a kick button. Now, if I do a quarter circle forward and any punch button, which is the use item command, then I can do the tornado hold. It doesn't matter which sub weapon Mega Man has, the use item command is the same for all three sub weapons. To do a wall jump, jump towards the wall, then press the opposite direction. The wall jump can be useful in escaping a corner trap or to delay from falling from a jump. Also, you can wall jump from a super jump. Then I find out if you do a super jump towards the, the enemy side of the playing field, you can you can wall jump from there too. See? I don't think the wall jump works when you just try to wall jump from the enemy side with a wreck from a regular jump. So you have to do a super jump from the enemy side to do a wall jump. Mega Man has one throw in this game. To do the throw, press towards the opponent and press the first punch button. And I want to say that Mega Man has an air throw too, but I could be mistaken. Yeah, but that's how his throw look. Mega Man only has one launcher in the game. To do the launcher, press the first kick button. You can go into an aerial combo or an aerial raid. You can go into your aerial combo. When doing Mega Man air combos, I find that it's best to end them with Fierce Punch as it does more damage than a Mega Uppercut, no lie. Okay. This is the Hyper Combo when Mega Man combines with all of his animal comrades, turning him into Hyper Mega Man. To do the super, do a quarter circle forward and press both punch buttons. Do it again. Do it one more time. Mega Man would blast a large beam at his opponent, but at it hits, make sure to match the attack buttons. Also, this move can be done in mid-air and it's quite possible to juggle the enemy if you're close enough. So yeah, you can do the move in mid-air. And if you get close to your opponent, you can pop him up in the air. See? Do it again. And there you have it. Hyper Mega Man. All right, the second hyper combo I would like to cover is called the rush drill. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward and press both kick buttons. This move turned rush into a drill with Mega Man being in the driver's seat. This attack does massive damage and for added hits, mash on the attack buttons.
And the last hopper combo I would like to cover is called the beat plane. To do this move, do a quarter circle backwards and press both kick buttons. Do it again. So, once this move is initiated, press the punch buttons to fire bullets, or press the kick buttons to fire bombs. Do it again. See the bombs? Okay. So from my understanding, this move has been nerfed quite a bit from the first game and personally, I don't see the need to use it here. Here we go. Here's what to expect when you use Mega Man as an assist character. Mega Man's alpha assist will attack the enemy with a heavy two hit Mega Buster. His beta assist will use a heavy mega uppercut. And finally, his gamma assist will perform a heavy two hit mega buster. Overall, I wouldn't recommend a beginner to play as Mega Man because I feel he has a steep learning curve. From my understanding, most people tend to play keep away with Mega Man, but if you ask me, it all boils down to who you're fighting. Now don't get me wrong, Mega Man has a good keep away game but it's just that a lot of other characters can do it a bit better. Now, Mega Man size is both a gift and a curse depending on how you look at it. While his in-game sprite is small, which makes it hard to hit him, his physical reach is very limited. Whenever you summon Eddie to change your sub weapon, make sure to do this when it's safe. Otherwise, you run the risk of being left open. Get some distance from your enemy, then change your sub weapon. Try to charge your Mega Buster when you can and catch the opponent off guard with it. You can do a Hyper Mega Man from a charge up Mega Buster shot or Leaf Shield. Remember, if you can blast the enemy with a 10 hit Mega Buster, you can then combo into either a Hyper Mega Man or a Rush Drill. As far as beat playing goes, just stay away from it. To me, it's a waste of meter. Whenever using Mega Man as an assist character, Make sure to use the alpha one, which is the heavy two hit Mega Buster. All right guys, that's it for this week's installment. And as I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Machima for Dad and Kids Play One. We all hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you next game. Peace out.